This was all pr completely predictable and predicted. Uh, it was an inevitable reaction of a decision to impose losses on Greek bondholders. The, 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 the result of doing that was that it basically made investors very worried that they would suffer losses on any other government bonds that, where there was any question about the debt sustainability of the governments. And, uh, and with growth slowing around the world, those fears have become a lot more acute. Uh, now, the, the European leaders hoped two weeks ago that they would have solved this problem by trying to ring fence and isolate Greece, but they failed to do the two things that might have actually solved the problem. One was to massively increase the size of the bailout funds. In fact, they just left them where they were. And the second one was to have moved to a full Eurozone bond with joint and several guarantees. Now, without either of those things in place, the Eurozone crisis, I think, is just going to keep rolling on. And the problem is, is that the longer it rolls on, the bigger the losses become, the more the taxpayers in countries that are going to have to do the bailing out start to become uh, nervous, and it, it just becomes harder.